have come to Chappie's Crypto. Uh, don't be mistaken, I thought I'd start off this video with a slightly different start, so I hope you enjoyed that little intro video. Um, this video is a little different, I'm going to be focusing on an NFT project that I've gotten into fairly big time over the last week or two um, and yeah I just find I've done my due diligence on it over the last quite a few days and talking to lots of people so I just wanted to run through this cool NFT project that's on the Cardano network called Hash Guardians. Uh, word of warning first and foremost this is not a um, a crypto <laughs> project that you will flip and make a massive amount of money in the short term this is a very long term play um, and I'll talk a little bit about what I mean by that over the next um, few minutes. So first and foremost uh, Hash Guardians so just go to hashguardians.io and the website is very very comprehensive um, I've been looking at quite a few different NFT projects um, and word of warning as well I've, I've, I haven't really been looking at any NFT projects on the Ethereum network or on Solana I'm totally focused on NFT projects on the Cardano blockchain so for just if you're not interested in Cardano projects so you might want to switch off the video now however if you are interested in what's out there in the ADA world you might be interested in this little project so one of the things that I've found really interesting, if you check, come, come to the website and have a look at the white paper there, it's extremely thorough white paper. If you click on under white paper here, it's every one of these screens or every one of these pages goes into quite a bit of depth about the whole project. Um, so you can go there and, and read to your heart's content. Uh, you pretty much can find almost anything you need to find out about the project through their um, website under the white paper um, beyond that as well if you go to the about us section the thing i like about this is that the whole team is doxxed they go into quite a bit of detail about who they are you can actually contact most of these guys through their discord server i've been talking to a few of them directly over the last quite a few days great guys uh, really passionate about the project they've spent a lot of time and energy in building this has been out in the blockchain for at least six months um, and pretty solid so far um, to, to really just give you a bit of a summary about the whole project, uh, they're, they're building a play to earn game. So essentially you can buy, or initially they did a mint uh, probably five or six months ago now with 10,000 characters. Uh, there's eight different species that, that are available and the whole theory being is that over time they'll, they'll make the game so that you can actually use your characters essentially within the game. Uh, they do have already within the game themselves, if you come along to log in and you log into this what you need to do is to be able to get access to some aspects of the game you've actually got to connect your wallet and within your wallet you need to have one of their nfts so if i i've, I've purchased a few of their nfts in the secondary market because i only discovered this project in the last week or two um, so i've purchased a couple of their nfts the cool thing about this is if you can come in to start the main game at the moment it's really an alpha version of the game so it's just to give you an idea it's it's just like a you know you walk around the world um and and if you check out their um their roadmap, they've got big plans for that. The other thing is they've got this cool little game called the Infinity Tower. So it's just a basically a really straightforward, simple little game. But just to really show you that these guys are the real deal. They're developing a real game, um, and you can already play with some of the things. The other thing that's really cool about the project as well is if you own some of their NFTs. As I said, I've only been owned any for the last week or so. Uh, every month at the end of the month, depending on how many NFTs you've got in your wallet uh, you will earn hash coins which in time you'll be able to exchange for goods within the game or eventually you'll be able to use it to buy other items as well um, however one of the things that they've just released is the thing called their hash boxes um, and I'll, it'll be a little video about that at the end of this at the end of this video review hash boxes are basically a loot box so at the end of march you purchase the hash box you can actually mint it here at the moment they've got five and a half thousand being minted i think they've already minted around 650 or so and the mint only came out in the last day or two if you come along to here and join the drop you can actually go through the process and actually pay 32 ada for one hash box and within each hash box will be two items and the end of march they'll be doing an opening um announcement or an opening opening process which we're all looking forward to and you'll get some items that are nfts on their own there'll be two items in each so you're essentially paying 16 ada for an item that will be a weapon or something like that what that'll be usable within the game and they themselves will be their own nfts as well um, so that's a very brief summary of some of the things that it's worthwhile checking out now, I wanted to show you now though how you can go about getting some of their items so as I said before the hash the pre alpha hash boxes are available now if you come along to join drop um, they've actually got the minting service built and set up on the website itself um, so if you come through this process just press next um, nominate how many boxes you would like to purchase 
etc pay with ada obviously if i'd had some hash coins that i may have been earning through the game you can actually pay with their in-game currency as well and then press next and it'll go it'll give you an, an address to send your ada off to once they match up that payment it'll confirm it and within at the moment the minting service is a bit slow but within 24 to 48 hours your your um, hash boxes will appear in your wallet and then obviously we're looking forward to the end of march when we'll be able to open up our, our boxes and see what we've what loot we've we've been able to purchase uh, so that's how to get their um hash boxes however if you're interested in getting some of their actual nfts um, i'd highly recommend checking out jpeg store um, so on jpeg store you can actually just search for their collection so if i type in hash guardians let's <clears throat> go in the in the search bar at the top we can guardians that's a collection 10,000 items and at the moment there is these are all items available for sale and if you look at the activity that's not they're not a huge amount of activity in the sales back and forth however one of the things I've really noticed there's usually a couple you know a few selling each day um, one of the things I have noticed about the hash guardians when they minted I'm pretty sure the mint price was less than 50 I think it was 44 or something like that when they minted originally um, you cannot buy a hash guardian for less than 50 ADA at the moment the floors consistently been sitting around that 50 level um, I've been desperately trying to get one of the cheap ones but they just they just don't come on for under 50 ADA or if they do they're very very rare and if you happen to get one that that low you you've done yourself a big favor and I'd be grabbing it um, so amazing project the fact that they've had 10,000 items out for almost six months now and the price is maintaining a floor above the original mint price which I think is quite extraordinary it just shows you the value that people have in the project um, but how do you find some bargains if you come along to CNFT tools or cnft.tools website you can search for the project here Ash Guardians it's one of the things that I do almost on a daily basis see if I can snag a good deal come along in here and as I said before you notice if you if you search via price press go you're going to find out fairly quickly at the moment there's only one two three four five nfts all at 50 so the cheapest nfts at the moment and they're ranked fairly high up um, neither here nor there and so you just have to be willing to spend a little bit more money one of the things i've also just been doing as well because i've had a few issues with uh, cnft.io site recently so i'm currently only looking at items that are available for sale through the jpeg store or jpg.store um, at the moment there's only one and, and that price range i'm just going to wipe that out and one of the things that i wanted to show you as well so when you click on here these are all the different traits or the different species available so there's eight species in total demons robo mummy undead cyberpunk military fantasy and western so if we come along here for instance and say for instance we're looking for an undead there's 500 in total of those and we're just going to reset the traits here and we'll just come back up here just so we can do a search for everything and let's go back down and just say look for undead let's see how many undead we've got available and just what's on sale currently and you'll see once it sorts that the cheapest undead one we can find at the moment i've got them sorted by rarity so you can see the the higher higher ranked um nfts are going or the listed for fairly high prices but if you go down to the let's say this one here it's ranked 960 that's actually quite a good deal for 160 ada or even this one if you click on one of these items you'll actually see over the right hand side all the different traits available so as an example this one here it's lost tribes only 0.94 percent have that particular trait so for me if i had some spare ada lying around i'd probably try and nab that one that's actually a pretty good deal um, based on the values that i'm seeing currently on on this particular project um, but for me the number one thing i really love about this project you can build a collection of of nfts over time um, they're going to have real utility so back on their website um, and they're going to and the project map they talk about they're going to have have the gameplay is going to come um, they've already got a few developers that are working for them they're planning to hire a few more developers over the coming months um, and it's a super super cool project um, the other other thing that i wanted to share with everyone is if you come along to their discord which i'm a member of and pretty actively involved uh, this is the discord really active um, this this uh, ada vader he's one of their actually is on their website and if you go to about us you can actually see who he is that's danny um he is this fellow here on the discord and they're amazing they they answer every question you've got the response is fairly quick they usually got a moderator in their discord at all times um, and you can just find out loads of information about the project and just really help build the excitement around it as i said before 
The main drop happened about six months ago at 44.80a and the price has just continued to maintain above that level. And the pre-alpha hash boxes at the moment, they're planning to mint 5,500 of those. Current price is 32.80a for one hash box. Um, yeah, highly recommend to come and check it out. Um, do your own research, of course. And um, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll just quickly show you um, one of the really cool things that you can do um, within here. I'll just, these are just some of my current holdings but if we come along and have a look at this as i said before if you just click on that activity you can see the different prices that these things are selling for as an example six hours ago uh, this hash card in here sold for 195 ada on this particular marketplace now there is another marketplace um, there's actually quite a few marketplaces on the ada ada network or blockchain um, one called cnft.io personally I've, I've bought and sold on there a little bit um, I've just I've got a transaction stuck in there at the moment, so I'm just staying away from it just for this time being until they work out the problems. But uh, I've never had a problem with the JPEG dot store site before. I did another video earlier um, over the last couple of days, just showing people some of the basics and how to get into NFTs on the Cardano blockchain. Um, but there you go, my very first review of an actual project. Um, do your own research. This is definitely not a recommendation to go out and and purchase anything. But if you like the sound of you know, a project with real utility. Um, I think this one's got a pretty exciting future ahead of it. Uh, highly recommend to go and check out hashguardians.io. Um, check out their Discord as well. Uh, the links to the Discord are on their website. And just, you know, come along and join in the fun and, and get involved. So I hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, there's, you'll see the links down the bottom there. Until next time, um, that's all I've got to say. Bye for now. <laughs>